What's going on you guys? Aaron here from Departures Capital <laughs> and we made it for our 10 a.m. live stream. It's been a crazy, crazy day. Crazy day and night consisting of almost two hours of sleep. We'll be getting into all that stuff in a second. Just dropped a video at 9.30 that I had to record at 6 in the morning but all in all we got it done. So I just got to drop this link quickly into our Discord group for the uh, live stream and then we'll get straight to the markets. We are seeing ACB in the green, so that is, uh, that's nice to see. We are seeing lots more green today, so things are looking pretty good. Good morning, everybody. Make sure to hit that like button, if I haven't said that already. Um, good morning, DG Slots, Jose Lito, Lucifer, Mark, Neurosis, Virg Society. Roy, what's going on, guys? Kyle Martin, Eric, Serbia BMW, Andrew, Angel. Yeah, it's nice to have all you guys here. So I'm just quickly dropping this link into our Discord group. And then, of course, I'll drop the link to our Discord group in the chat for anybody who hasn't joined our Discord group yet. I've been talking about that almost every day, almost every stream. So um, the link's right there if you want to join the Discord group. So anyways, guys. Talk about this one stock that we um, just did a uh, press release for. Very interesting little company. Um, the, so we'll talk about that later. But first, let's get into, let me just load up the comments on my phone here so it makes it easier for us to, uh, oops, for us to talk. <laughs> so anyways, guys, oh shoot, that's the wrong video. There we go. Awesome. Don't forget CEO of Kiran Narwapa is going to be on the Midas letter today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> hey, meow. What's up, James? Full VFF pre-market earnings tomorrow. Crush that like button for Departures Capital. Oh. Damn. Tell you guys our story in a few seconds. It was a wild night, but we made it here. 23% after 25% yesterday. Yeah, we've been talking about, I was talking about Chum recently um, with another one of our subscribers. He was looking to buy. I don't know if he got it. I don't know if he got in. Norbert, what's going on? Um, two dislikes. Must be. Uh, must be Norbert time. So, hello, Vicky. How is everybody doing today? We're seeing the SP up 0.27%. The Dow. That's crazy. The Dow down 0.18%. I don't know what the heck this is. All right. I want to take a look at Boeing stock today. Apparently, Boeing's down. Yeah, I think Norbert's in here, smashing that dislike button. It's okay, guys. We just gotta, you just gotta give me like way more likes than that. Boeing's down another four point five percent. That's what's bringing the Dow down today. Um, there were um, there was some news about Boeing saying that a lot of the countries, including China, are grounding their their Boeing seven. I believe it's a seven thirty seven. Meanwhile, America is not. Now, I don't know if that's in support of the company, but if so, if anyone, if another one of those planes crash, that's going to be terrible. But anyways, I've got my coffee in a wine glass, but I don't have my tea today yet. I'll have to make that later. Right now, we just got a, an espresso. So, awesome, Doug. It dropped to 365 yesterday, working on a new meme. I'll post it up today. Thank you so much. I love the memes. I love every single one of these memes. What the heck? Sorry, guys. I keep hitting my funny bone. This is really annoying. Ah, okay. Sorry. So, we're going to get into the cannabis portfolio right now. 
we're seeing Boeing down like crazy, but lots of gains for our personal portfolio. We will be taking a look at one stock that is making a very nice bounce today. And um, yesterday we were buying it. And uh, it's been it's been a wild ride for this company. What's up, Max? FSG Swallows, thank you for joining. Now, remember, well, what's up, Steven? Good morning, everybody. So we're seeing a massive bounce for Neo Performance Materials. This was one stock that we held in our portfolio. Um, I bought this stock basing, making my judgment on uh, performance materials, dioxides, all that kind of stuff. That's what this company does. They make performance materials. Rare earth uh, performance materials, but basically the stock tanked 38% yesterday. The, they had a decent quarter. What happened was there was a bid for the company that was about to go through. About to go through, it didn't go through, and uh, the stock dropped 38%. But we bought the dip at 10 bucks. It's up to 11.34 right now, so the stock's making a huge bounce. I do expect it to um, continue to bounce. The com company is highly profitable with lots of cash in the bank and pays a decent dividend. So I don't see why this company dropped 38%. So I was talking about that all yesterday, posted it all over my Instagram. Um, so obviously at the end of the day, I mean, it doesn't always happen like this, but that was a good one so far. That's been a, a decent trade so far. Up another uh, up 11% since from where we bought it yesterday. Remember I told you about uh Neo Performance Materials Max? <laughs> yeah. Chooms killing it. I know I I heard Chooms up like crazy. Um let's take a quick look. Let's take a look at the weed stock portfolio. Chum, number one gainer on the day, followed by Alkaline Water. So, Max, uh, good job with that. Water is looking like it's going back up to four bucks, and I'm not going to get to buy it. <laughs> I'm going to let my buying opportunity slip. But I'm okay with it. We'll see. We'll see. If water can get above four bucks and hold on to it, we'll see what happens. Right now, we're still in the threes, but it is seeing a very nice bounce today. We'll take a look at Chum. I know we were talking about Chum when it was at friggin' 60 cents, 58 cents. Crop Infrastructure Court making a nice little bounce. What's up, Mom? <laughs> Big Chungus. 40. 48 South. I love that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. We'll take a look at um, Zanabis. We talked about this recently a little bit, but I do like the charts for it. I do like I do like the charts for Zanabis. We'll look at it. Medmen. I saw Medmen in the green today. What happened? It's already flat. Pure Global Cannabis. There's so many stocks that are flat on the day. Like crazy. MedMen. Agrius Global. Match Capital. Canamera Brands. Naturally Splendid. International Canna Brands. MYM. Like so many stocks flat. Ignite Brands. 48 South Cannabis. Down 10.49%. Um, there was someone in our group yesterday in our live stream um, who <laughs> there was someone in our live stream yesterday who bought 48 North and I told him to be very careful <laughs> with the company and um, it actually went up 5% he told it uh, he told everybody that he sold it but I'm happy that he sold it honestly because it's dropping way lower than what it went up that little couple cents yesterday. So 
Remember the other day I bought 48 North and sold it five minutes? Yeah, Scott, I was just talking about you. I was just talking about you. I'm happy that you're here again. And um, I saw 48 North go up after you bought it, or after you sold it, and I felt kind of bad. And I said, like, I, I didn't mean to give him bad advice, but, but I was thinking long term, like, I was trying to help you out. So I'm happy that so far it's worked out where you didn't lose any money. <laughs> I was just trying to give you some honest advice, that's all. Um, Super Q Trade says water is at 338, but it's at 390. CTSC up again. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't lose any money, Scott. <laughs> That's good. That's what we're here for to uh, offer our opinion and help each other out. So, organic, I'm doing well. My pleasure, my pleasure. Any stock can go south, not only 48 North. <laughs> yeah. I like the name, though. I'll give them that. They're due for a healthy pullback. On a swing trade, I do think that uh, buck 25, buck 25, a buck 27, you could see. And then maybe some sort of bounce, but I do think. I am pretty uh, bearish on 48 North. It's just a matter of time before the companies eventually comes down. So, um, one quick, one quick thing. So I just put out a video about a very interesting, very small cap company. Um, so if you guys get a chance, the video is not even 10 minutes long. It's just about a mining stock. What's the next hot stock? International Montero Corporation. So feel free to check out that video. It just dropped at 9.30. So I had to drop that. There's a little bit of news about the company. So after this, if you guys get a quick chance, just click on the video. Tell me what you guys think. It's a very small cap stock. Um, what is the ticker symbol? Uh, IMT. I believe it's IMT. Yeah, I believe it's up quite quite substantially today. It's up 18% already after the press release that we just covered. It is a gamble. Um, always do your research and due diligence. Do more research about the company. Go on their website, all that kind of stuff before you guys buy it or anything. But check out the video. It's pretty cool. They found quite a lot of the minerals at one of their um, at one of their sites. So. It's interesting, I like to cover this kind of stuff, but anyways, 48 North bought deal at 136, that's why it's down. Yeah, it's about, that's good, it's about time they used uh, their high share price. About to drop this meme live, 007 style. That's what I like to see, buddy. We'll go on Facebook, um, we'll check out our departures capital group. Hey guys, check this out. Man, I hate when Facebook does this. Three years ago, well, less than three years ago, I was in China, but I miss Guangzhou. <laughs> I used to live in this city. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool place. BGRD, if you heard it here, bye, bye, bye. TR, TRTC, take a look soon. Don't do any due diligence. Don't, don't listen to that. You need to focus and get to business. Tina is serious. Sorry, Tina. This is my stream, and I can talk about whatever I want. So um, if you want to hit that dislike button, that's fine. But we are we like to have some fun here. Okay. <laughs> so anyways... um. Gonna get back to the cannabis portfolio in a second. <laughs> Spartacus, what's going on? Please review Enron. Yeah, I heard. I heard Enron is uh, is an interesting company. Matthew. Still only two dislikes. 
smash that like button guys yo D doc though you're still awake man holy crap i guess we both didn't sleep we were working on that uh we we're working on that video thanks for that third dislike <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's all good. We'll just go for lunch after this. Just let me know. I got an alert. ACB is up. Thanks for the hard work. My pleasure. We'll, we'll be checking in with Aurora. We've got a whole bunch of... Wow, Aurora's up another 2% to 1084. This thing does look like it's going to keep climbing, hopefully, to... Um, Take a look at the uh, bar chart, the graph. Am I talking candlesticks? All right, so ACB looks like it's maintaining a nice steady uptrend. I, I do feel like we're gonna hit 11 bucks, guys, for ACB. Please review the Lehman Brothers. Honestly, top two picks for 2019, Enron and the Lehman Brothers. I do think both those stocks are going to kill it. <laughs> My 9 to 5 job consists of watching live streams all day and researched. That's awesome, buddy. I'm so happy to have you here. We got the turkeys in the room, Spartacus. How do you feel about the VIX being so quiet? We'll take a look at the VIX in a sec. What's up, Remy Red? How large of a position will you take if you buy more ACB? Probably another thousand shares, but I don't plan to buy any more ACB unless we see some kind of sell-off. It's gonna take it's gonna take a big sell-off. I'm not buying ACB unless it goes around eight or lower, around eight fifty. But I don't honestly don't think that will happen unless we get like a serious market pullback. But if you look at this trend for ACB the trend seems to remain intact everything's looking pretty pretty good for Aurora but right in and around this level 1075 1078 if you look at our most recent Aurora video we are like testing a crucial level of resistance right now if we can break above that and hold 11 bucks I feel like we're gonna break out of this tighter and tighter range that we've been seeing. I'm just gonna 1074, 10.75, something like that. So it looks like we're just breaking out of it just a little bit. And if Aurora can continue, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna see some kind of sharp move upwards into the 11 mid 11s I'd love to see it at 1150 that's not that far away we're we're really not that far away right now so we're talking another dollar we're talking another um, 70 cents so look what we're up today already we're up 20 cents today so that's that's two almost two percent we could see that in a day What's your opinion on Zanabis? What's your opinion on Zanabis? Got you, Max. Zena. Seventy-eight people watching and only thirty-nine likes, guys. What is what's up? We got three haters in the group. Sorry, I just lost it. Zanabis, Zanabis. I'm talking about Zanabis. All right. Zanabis down 2.13%. <laughs> down for four, though. I know. Norbert recruited his friends. Norbert recruited his friends. And um, where was that? Where was, sorry, I'll get to that in about one second. Um, I just 
Don't know if that person was serious. Where was her comment? Can you guys make me a funny meme? About, uh, oh, where the hell is the comment? Sorry. Norbert made multiple accounts, probably. Aaron, these are good ETFs. Sorry guys, I just saw one comment. Give me one second, bro, drink some lean. Oh my God. It was like, quit, get to work or something. Said, you said okay like it was a question. Hold up, hold up, hold up one second. Oh yeah, you need to focus and get to business. Sounds like a Norbert comment. Sorry guys. A little bit distracted here. So Zanabis. Uh, 715 million dollar market cap. They're gonna have huge production soon in a year or two. I believe that's not your only pick in the green, Max. So the charts for Zanabis look pretty good. It does really look like it's starting to uh, starting to level out, but I would like to see higher highs. We are seeing higher lows recently, but it's a tough one. I do think short term it could get up to, well, I'd like to see it get up to 450. That'd be my short term target. I'd have to do more research on Zanabis, but I definitely do think that, um, I mean, I like a chart like this. It looks like it's got lots of, like at least, it looks like it's got a bunch of upside. Matthew Semek, are you still in the group? Let me know because I'm looking for that sandwich. Let me know when you want to get that because uh, there's no way I'm sleeping either. VIP technicals. All right, cool. So, Doc, we're going to get we're gonna get that um, gonna get that sandwich at eleven o'clock. So feel free to come over to my place. Um, BGRD, yeah, let's look at BGRD. Forty-eight South down eleven point one one percent. Match capital resources sixteen cents. Hard to say. I feel like technicals look good on the monthly. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't know too much about edical edicals. What the hell's an edical? Edibles. <laughs> um, that's a great question. That's something I need to do more research on, my friend. Imagine saying I became wealthy thanks to FSD. One day, Max. <laughs> so BGRDs had this, uh, what looks to be this. I've seen this pattern happen once with uh, Pure Global Cannabis. Um, I'd potentially wait till about 14, 15 cents. I feel like we could pull back a little bit more before exploding one more time. Um, I've seen this pattern happen before. I'll just show you guys real quick. So as you guys can see, pop, drop, pop, drop, pop. We got a double top and now we sold off like crazy. So not saying it's the same thing. I've just, I've seen this pattern happen a few times and uh, what caused me to sell on Pierre was that double top. We just, we couldn't break. And then we sold off, sold off, sold off. Right here was when I sold because I was like, 
No. We've already had the double top and now we're just going to sell lower. So for BGRD, I would just... Um, Give it some time. Give it some time. See if we drop to 15 cents. I would start, if I was looking to buy this, potentially start a position if we get halfway down. So a little more. And then uh, I wouldn't buy until 20 cents or more or nine or 10 cents. Double top, pop and drop. What's up, Tom? <laughs> What's up, Tom? I was actually just looking at BGRD, so um, that's your other stock. What are you looking at right now, Tom? I'd love to get your insight and um, take a look at a few companies as well as... Uh, Yeah, 15.5 cents. I was just talking about this pattern that we're seeing here for BGRD. Because we just got a request about it. Um, and I was just saying how I saw this pattern with Pure Global happen before. I do think that around 15 is, is a good entry point. I don't know if you followed Peer Global, but we'll just bring it up real quick here for a sec. Oh man. Dying here got a crazy heartburn. No, I was just mentioning how this pattern is very similar to BGRD before Peer sold off, if you guys can see. Almost identical pattern. And now we're seeing Pierre sell off. I'll take a look at GE in a sec once we're done with uh, a few of these cannabis stocks. Anyone see the Aladdin movie trailer? It looks good. <laughs> I did not. That sounds pretty. I didn't know there was a new Aladdin coming out. That's pretty cool. Seeing Kieran at 3.44, so Kieran looks to be Potentially moving up again. Alif has been holding resistance at 220. What's your opinion, Aaron? I thought it will pop soon. Big difference is volume on the sell-off for Pure versus BGRD. Yeah. Low volume sell-off. I mean... Well, no, Pierre's got a little more volume in, in terms of the most recent sell-off. So, that makes sense. BGRD is a low volume sell-off. I see what you're saying there. Nice, nice that you pointed that out. BGRD is actually at uh, 15 and a half cents now. So this might be one for me to take a look at. If it does sell down a little more, we'll see what happens. But um, good job, Max. Hit that cash button for you. Low volume during pullback consolidation. I interpret it as healthy. Big volume during pullback relative to each stock's average volume is a bad sign. Very good. Remember that information, guys. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that knowledge, Tom. Appreciate that. Water is up 12%. Don't even tell me about that, Max. Should have bought the dip at 340. Ah, we're hitting four bucks. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It's at 415 now. Get out of here. Okay, fine. You know what? I got to pull up this stock because uh, Neo Performance is definitely making a bounce. 11.8% to rival your water. <laughs> TRTC. All right, we, we got you, buddy.
25% Terratech. It's a nice, that's a nice looking run. I've only looked at Terratech a couple times. Scott Norris. Tom, is it possible ACB won't come back down? Watching volume yesterday was another rejection at 1075. I'm pleased to see it above 1075 right now, but I want volume to confirm the strength. All right, guys, so do we have that meme? We've got the meme 16 minutes ago. Sorry, I didn't check that out. <laughs> Steve. Sorry, we just got to quickly add one thing. Steve's, Steve must have woke up on the wrong side of the day, wrong side of the bed. Which is more... Steve and Aaron on a love boat. Wait. There we go. We're having a poll in the group, guys. We're going to add that. What the heck? Why won't it let me add this? Get out of here. Sorry, guys. Go. I love this meme, so we're gonna quickly take a look and see what we've got here. Fresh off the press from Scott. What's your name? It's Capital. Departures Capital. Sorry. Yeah. Amazing guys. Oh no, it's cut off. There's another frame. It's your depart no, I can see it. It's your departures capital logo. It's right down there at the bottom. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so back to business. Got to check in on our watch list. Aurora's up 3% again. 1094 looks like we're going to 11 bucks. Keep on going. 9 1096. 1096. I'm going to message you on the other phone, doc. Give me 2 seconds. Sounds good, let's do it. All right, so I wanna look at our amendment turning green for the moment. We'll look in a sec, Eric. Damn, alkaline water up 11%. You're winning, Max. That's nice to see. Freeport McMoran up 3.4%. ACB up 3%. First Majestic Silver, Endeavor Silver, First Quantum Minerals, Kinross, Alamos. We're seeing a lot of the precious metal miners in the green. Apple in the green. Exchange Income. Ceneva in the green. JD.com. I kind of want to dump JD.com today. Pretty sure I'm going to dump that stock today um, consistent consistent gains for the utility companies Amira, Fortis, Chartwell Retirement Residences every day they go up half a percent or one percent Alifia Health um, where would I put that money I'm just taking a look here Superior Plus Corp, BTB REIT, kind of looking at this one. I like the dividend on this one. It's got a fat yield. 48 North and FSD down, International Canada Brands, 
extend to care maybe we'll put that to use in extend to care bear gold down 0.4 percent 10 cent in the red severia corporation yeah or canadian utilities still liking canadian utilities now we have so many tabs open. Wow, IMT is up 18%. People are liking the news. North isn't doing too bad. Max bought water, cashing in on water quick at 600. Thoughts on THC Biomed just sold ACB $700 profit. Scott, did you pick up more ACB yesterday? Cron's up, just sold water, made 600 bucks. Congrats, Max. It's nice seeing uh, you guys make some money. If you guys want a good eye on play, check out EGLX. It's going to be huge, Aaron. Put that, put your money here. Cha-ching. Caution on North as the pullback is on news of a $25 million bot deal. Yep, we heard that. I forget who told us that already. First time in five months I made some coin. <laughs> Good job. Good job. You deserve it after FSD's brutal performance. Mad Men slightly in the red. Tom, give me your thoughts on MedMen. I'd love to hear it for MedMen. Because MedMen has been selling, and I mean, charts look interesting at 360. Give Matt a pat on the back. Yeah, those charts look pretty interesting at 360. But there's obviously always the bearish case for MedMen. Need momentum on MedMen, I think it can ride higher. <clears throat> I think so too. Yeah, 360. Staying away until a break of 483, rejected three times. Yep. You got it right, 483. But at these levels, at these levels, at 361, let's look at it from a support perspective. At 360, do you see some support? It looks like we're testing a pretty heavy line of support here, 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 here. We've consolidated a tiny bit, but we have been seeing, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Black hole territory. Like this, that's a, that's a little gap to fill from 18 cents up to 360. But yeah, um, definitely, definitely I've bought MedMen a few times. I believe my average is right in around four bucks or low threes. So no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's move on. Let's move on to Kiron. Or let's not. 11.03. Bam. Man, ACB is on fire. ACB is just on fire. And um, we're finally seeing that. Let's get, this, let's get this out of here. I want to go full screen. Hey, Tom, what do you think about the two little lines I drew? got our technical analysis going on for ACB. We got that line drawn at 1074. I know it should be 1075, but we're one cent off. 
Um, it looks like ACB could be could be potentially making a breakout, but what do you think about my upgraded technical analysis? We just pulled back a little bit. 10.99. <laughs> Thanks, man. Trying. Trying. You're still uh, you're still awesome with the technicals, though. Yeah, that's true. Volume has been declining, although I don't know why it's not showing the recent volume. I guess we'd need to go to ACB on the American side. Carlton Gonzal Gon Gonzalez Gonzalez Gon. Sorry, man, I brutalized your last name. That was at two fifty US. Yeah, volume has been kind of pulling back. We need a higher volume day to confirm. Hmm. Finally, we got a break. It's way too sunny in here, my goodness. I need to wear sunglasses in this stream. Oh, finally a break. Last week was a record week for volume on ACB. Uh-oh, sun's coming back. There we go. Yeah, the last couple days we have seen declining volume, but we did see uh, on March the 5th, record volume, which was last week, exactly one week ago, record volume on ACB. Aaron, are you selling some ACB at 11 or riding the wave VRB tea time? Tea time? It's always tea time, Tom. That's what I'm talking about. JWCA. All right, we'll take we'll take a look at JWCA. Max knows best. <laughs> James E. Wagner. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a look at GE too. We'll take a look at GE. Give us a momento. Yeah, James E. Wagner, looking good. It's a local company. <clears throat> Excuse me, I like this, uh, the looks of these charts. Put up that FSD meme I put up about pimping for tea. All right, I'll have to do that. Let's go to Facebook. Go to Facebook one more time. Yeah, Max, Max is hilarious. Ah, show your love for Departures Capital. Smash that like button. Thank you, Neurosis. Oh, man, we've got six dislikes today. Six dislikes. I wish I wish you could see who disliked your stream. It's probably just Norbert and his goon of peoples. Pick your mind. I keep saying I, keep, I say you're keeping ACB even at 11. Some haters out there. <clears throat> it's okay. Norbert and Stockhouse crew. <laughs> yeah, the Stockhouse crew probably hated me for a while when we'd post our videos on every single cannabis message board for the first, like, four months of Departures Capital. But, hey, they helped us get popular, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not complaining. GE's over 10 bucks now. Honestly, I'll probably sell GE if it gets to 13. Cut my losses and probably run away on this one. I I just wish that they were still paying their dividend, but it's obviously impossible for them to continue to pay their dividend. 
when the stock tanked so much. 0.4 percent. I bought divid. I bought GE as a long-term dividend play when it was yielding three four percent. Now it's just a. Uh, now it's just a bet. On recovery. Have a good one, um, Big Chungus. He was talking in his video that high insider ownership is bad. Um, the only people that hit the dislike button are the ones that haven't been laid in 2019. <laughs> yeah. Or 2018. <laughs> Just hey, let's go. Let's the PO folk play. Don't hate. They are shorting the likes. Yeah, I know. Oh, shoot, guys. We got seven dislikes now. It's okay. It doesn't affect my viewership. But, um, yeah, we've got a new, we've got a new record high for dislikes. But I feel like you guys are just screwing around with me now. Might be record. I usually don't get that many dislikes. We got nine dislikes now. Naughty, naughty, naughty. You guys are bad today. Ah, oh, okay. The seventh dislike was someone who didn't get laid. I know, guys. It's hard out there, right? Doesn't matter how much you make on ACB, sometimes uh, you just can't get it. <laughs> FSC Pharma down to 23 cents. What in the hell is going on with this company? Maybe it's somebody who works at FSD. <laughs> Maybe it's someone who works at FSD that's smashing that dislike button. Bear Gold down 0.45%. Ooh, Brookfield Real Estate. Let's take a look at this company. Darn. It's pretty nice steady uptrend. I just want to see. Kind of liking this stock right now. Kind of want to buy some more of this bad boy today. Been watching this thing. 52 week range of 1236 to 2015. So if we got four bucks to go in terms of the 52 week high, I think that could be pretty good. I'm pretty bullish on real estate for 2018. So I think we're going to load the boat on BRE today. BRE, I'd do the same with Wayland CEO. FSD is coming down to 18 cents. Potentially, potentially. I really hope the sun does not come back because it's too freaking bright in here. Brookfield Real Estate Services. All right, guys, this is one that I'm liking. Although we ran up pretty fast in the last month. Mm. Yeah. Let's see here. Lucian, I did not get any NBEV. I did not get any NBEV or water. I just I just couldn't pull the trigger. I don't know. My gun my gun jammed and I fumbled around with the clip and I couldn't slide it in fast enough and then I just couldn't pull the trigger. I don't know. When researching companies that are priced under earnings, do you have any that you know of? Which sector? Cannabis sector? Um, Non-cannabis related sector? Depends on what we're talking. Who utilities in the green? Any sector? That's what she said. <laughs> I know, right? Just, if something goes wrong, just blame it on Norbert. Norbert's a legend, though.
Yeah, so back to your question, Scott. Um, that's a that's a tough question. What what do I think's what do I think's cheap right now? Ah, oh, it's so tough. I've been buying a lot of uh, a lot of non cannabis related companies. I do feel like there's still lots of value in the gold and silver mining sector. Um, a lot of the dividend paying companies have had a crazy run, especially over the last month. A lot of people have been taking defensive positions. So basically all the picks that I've been buying have been running, not cannabis related picks. Like I'll, I'll show you guys real quick, just a few picks. Steve Wilson created a poll in the purchase capital here. We got to add that uh, Steve and Aaron on a love boat. I want to add this, but it won't let me. There we go. Oh shoot guys, that reminds me. Join our Discord group if you haven't already. Post the link there again. Um, we'll bring up ACB one more time. US Steel is under price to book. Don't expect to get your money back on FSC. You may, but you never know. 15 growth stocks to buy under 15 times earnings. Is that an article? If it's an article, feel free to drop the article. We'll take a look at some companies. GE is still definitely undervalued, but uh, we own some GE, but I don't. I like, I like dividends, honestly. <sighs> I'll show you what we've been buying though, just to give you a little uh, little idea of what we've been up to. BTB Real Estate, this is one that I need to pick up soon. It looks like it's gonna continue to go. Quebec Real Estate. Yielding 8.99%. I like those REITs, I like those long-term picks. First Majestic Silver on a nice run. So here's here's a couple of our picks. These are the stocks that we have been buying. Uh, let's see here. Power Corporation was a good pick. Northwest Healthcare, Fortis Enbridge. Enbridge has been performing pretty nicely. Brookfield Property Partners, kind of, no, I don't want Superior Plus Corp. That one's all right. BCE. Nothing on sale right now, except for Extendicare. Actually, Extendicare is one that I'm looking at. Extendicare looks to be cooling off a little bit. Technicals look kind of bad for it though. But let's take a look at the chart here. Yeah, this one looks pretty interesting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I like the dividend yield on this company. Well, if you want to talk about cheap stocks, we can talk about the oil and gas sector all day. <laughs> but I'd be careful about that sector. 
Yeah, and Canna's slowly making their way back up. Z's dropping again as we speak. Come on, 18. Apparently, Soros bought tons of Suncor. So, Soros and Buffett bought lots of Suncor. Lots and lots of Suncor. This has been my top utility pick for 2019 so far. Canadian utilities, but it's ran too fast. So it's basically at its 52 week high, almost. Less than a dollar away from that, so. Okay guys, so dividends when you get your money back on stocks, Nevada. Man, Northwest Healthcare. This is a company that I've been loving recently and and, it, and it's and it's looking like it's finally going to break out. Great performing stock. Yeah. Power Corporation's been doing well. Oh, that brings me to the next point. I want to look at Manulife. Let's see what Manulife's up to today. 22.57, we're still flat on the day. <sighs> okay guys, Um, I know this sounds a bit, well it's been 56 minutes, so we have been streaming for 56 minutes so far, but I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna go in five minutes, so I'm gonna take some more requests for five minutes, just as I had a crazy long day, I had to shoot a video at 5 a.m. and release it for the market open, which is that, uh, the video on that mining company. So feel free to check that out. Drop me some likes on that video and uh, please drop a few more requests. We'll do a few more requests and then I'm gonna head out because I literally got no sleep and I have a meeting right now and then I need to try and take a quick nap because we gotta sh shoot more stuff. Charlotte's Web. So. Still kind of do think Charlotte's Web's a little expensive. The stock's been on a really nice run. I think they're a fantastic company in the CBD space. 18 bucks could have potentially been a good entry point. It's too high for me right now, but um, Not a bad chart to buy into. I feel like we could move back up to test those all-time highs, although less than $3 upside for me is not worth the downside risk of falling back to 14 15 Any news on Hexo? Don't know any news on Hexo. I'll look at the chart real quick. Real, real quick. Interesting, Scott. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's an interesting company. I'm, I'm potentially thinking about it. Um, I like co I like copper, cobalt, and all the stuff that they're mining. Now, keep in mind they're they're an exploration stage company, so very small market cap. Um, and the stock could potentially not move for a very long time. And then we have days like today where the stock moves up like 16 cents. Hold up a sec, guys. Okay guys, so sorry, sorry. Um, we're gonna have to wrap this video up. Actually, there's someone waiting for me. So I'm gonna have to go, cause I, like I said, I got that meeting. So, right when he was going to talk about Hexo, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, man, okay, fine, you know what? We'll take a quick, quick look and uh, we'll make our ride wait. <laughs> 
honestly, right now, looking at the charts for Hexo, I'm liking to I'm liking those higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. I want to see Hexo break above 780, right in around 780. If we can break into eight bucks, I think Hexo could go back up to nine to test those all-time highs if the market stays good. Charts for Hexo looks pretty good right now. Higher lows are important and uh, does look to be recovering a bit. Me and Investing Hustler, we're talking about Hexo right here as we were concerned about a pullback and we dipped all the way down to 690, but Hexo's held on and it's been pretty strong. So, <laughs> Anyway, save those comments, guys. Feel free to drop those comments as, after the stream, as, as the stream gets posted, I'll do my best to look at all that, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, I got to go and I'll be back. I could potentially do another live stream, maybe for power hour in the afternoon. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, yeah, that's, that's it. So have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Join the Discord group. Don't forget, if you want to ask me questions, like if you got questions about that pro real estate trust, whatever it may be, join join the Discord group because I'll be, you can always get a hold of me in the Discord group, but you can't always get a hold of me on live stream. Link is in the chat, so join up that Discord group and uh, we'll see you all guys, we'll see you guys there. Sorry, Humble, I gotta go, there's someone waiting for me, so... Smash the like button, I'm out, peace.